Hey, 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 everybody. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on um, locking the uh, the washing machine in. Um, and you'll see how I'm going to do that in just a second. But uh, we've chosen some pallet wood, um, and I have Craig screwed and glued that together. And that pallet wood is going to uh, create a fascia that's going to go um, up against the wheel well. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go route out... Uh, a space for that angle iron to sit into and then we'll start uh, cleaning the angle iron up and uh, get it painted and then get some holes drilled in it um, so that we can slide it in and anchor it uh, onto where its uh, final resting place is going to be. So um, let's go outside and and check out uh, kind of what I'm going to try to figure out what to do. All right. So here's our, um, here's the wood that we got from some old pallets and basically all I did was Craig jigged them together and then I did a chamfer edge on both edges here to give it kind of a nice clean look. We sanded everything really good and then polycrylic it. Uh, so I've got this piece of angle iron. I know this is a little bit overkill but it's three inch angle iron. And the idea is, I've already drawn a line right here, as you can see, right here. But the idea is, is I'm going to route about a quarter of an inch down uh, right here. And then this is going to fit in like this. And then what I'll do is I'm going to drill some holes, and then I'm going to take my angle grinder and I'm gonna cut, so I'm gonna make some notches right here. And then when this goes in, this this will slide over the feet of the, the washer dryer combo, and that'll keep everything secure, and that'll keep that washer dryer combo from moving up and down, left or right, back or fore, anything like that. I'm just going to use a three quarter inch straight bit. Got to say thank you to Harold Gillum, Stephanie's dad. He's the one that uh, has loaned me these tools. Stucco in the heat Let me take you dancing Let me get you on your feet Arizona garden With my little cactus flower Let the day slip away In the golden hour Something like that Of course I have to cut it here I'm about to do right now. Sweet cool drink in the heat. Oh, I'll be beside you every step of the way. Right here beside you every step of the way. Prickly pear and sandy bear Holding you heels But loving you hurts my head Oh, Arizona gardens in the afternoon No matter what happens It's me and you, baby Nothing but time and you A sweet cool drink on her feet. I'll be beside. 
kind of see how it's gonna fit in I've got to get up in here and figure out exactly where I need to cut those little uh, the bolt holes so I know that it fits side to side really snugly it looks like well, that's how she's gonna look right there kind of but push that way about three inches so yeah, once this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and mark a couple lines, cut those holds out, and then slide this in there. All right, so it's been 24 hours, and I've let this uh, let this thing dry. Boy, I'm gonna be in trouble for using Stephanie's Dewalt tools. Ooh. You're in big trouble, Mister. Right. So what I did. I went ahead and you know glued and screwed this uh, this piece of angle iron on here so you can see uh, I also inset it in here about a quarter of an inch it's not perfect but it's uh, it's pretty good and uh, now what I've done is I've taken this and I've uh, put it up to the washing machine and then I took my my speed square and I just marked some crude lines right here, here and here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna drill a hole close to the, as close to the back as I can. Um, just a couple little pilot holes. And then I'll take my, my uh, big daddies here and I'll go ahead and probably make the hole about this size, which is three quarters of an inch, maybe. And we'll see, we'll start there and we'll see if that actually will slide in and work. Uh, if not, I may have to do it a little bit more. But once I get those holes drilled, then what I'll do is I'll strike a couple of lines on either side and then I'll take the angle grinder and I'll cut out that metal so I've got a channel right here with a round hole as close to the back as possible. If you guys can see, but I made some lines, and that's pretty much where I'm gonna cut. long time to cut this metal but you can see I am almost through it almost uh -huh. 
what I was going for. I just got to get it cleaned up now. Kind of what we're going for we're going to go dry fit it and then uh if it fits we'll come back and bare metal prime it and then repaint it maybe tape it off so we don't get the pretty part dirty let's see see if this one does okay Looky there, looky there. <clears throat> that fits perfect. Everything just slid in there nicely. And we've got the metal going over our washer dryer feet. They're in there. Now I'm just going to take it out, repaint it, and let it dry. All right. Well, ready for the install. We'll hand the camera over to Stephanie. I've got, I've left the tape on here just to protect protect it from anything, but I'm going to go ahead and slide it in and see how it works what you think mama mm -hmm. and then we'll screw that in that will get screwed in right here yeah and on that side so then if we ever need to service this, all we have to do is unscrew that yep. and it'll slide right out. All made from pallet wood. Pretty awesome. I did something off camera without you guys. So I got really bored late last night and came out here and just uh, pondering some ideas on the bus or whatnot. And I had ordered these, uh, these, these tracks off of Amazon. And what those tracks are, you, you put them in and you're, then you're able to cut uh, pieces of wood to size and you can make pocket doors out of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and I'll show y'all how I basically what I did was I just for right now I just liquid nails it on <clears throat> and um, yeah so there's the bottom piece and so the top piece is probably about three quarters of an inch wide and then the bottom piece is probably about a half an inch uh, wide. I mean, deep depth wise. They're the same this way, but this way they're they're deeper. So basically what you do, I'm, I'm gonna mount this here. And then once you get your wood cut, you slide it up into the deeper channel and then drop it down. It'll drop down into the shallower channel and then you know the wood will slide so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go ahead and install this i'm going to figure out where this top one needs to go and then i'll screw it in and liquid nails it in and all that stuff so that we've got a complete uh frame and then i can go ahead and start work working on the measurements of the wood we will see you guys in just a few minutes I'm going to 
go cut this down a little bit. See if uh, see if I can get a better fit on it. So this is the exact measurement I need for the, the height. So I'm definitely gonna use that. And then now what I need, I need the length. And then I'm gonna add two inches, which will create a two inch uh, overlay in the middle. table saw and then we're going to trim them actually to fit. trim my sides just to square them up just a little bit so we've got our top and our bottom and we'll slide that into the group oh gosh it's so close Beautiful. Top and bottom again. I'm gonna cut some holes in here and then it'll be, you know, polyurethane. But um there's what we got. And it looked nice. Peace out.